What's up everybody, welcome back to Last NF Survival here on my main account and continuing with the fully modded weapon series. So today's video, I believe we're going to be going over... Hmm, we could do the shotgun or the AK. I'm actually not 100% sure. We've got a decent amount of shotguns, we've got a decent amount of AKs and M16s and Glocks as well. So the videos we have got left is shotgun, AK, M16, Glock, because we've done all the others. Um, let's do let's do shotguns today. Let's go for a nice fully modded shotgun video. Right. In that case, I am going to need to organise my inventory just a little bit and get rid of some of these Glocks because we're not doing Glocks today. There we go. How are we doing on Glocks? Doing pretty decent with them. Um, I'm going to keep the adrenaline with me because I'm most likely going to hire a mercenary to come and be joining me. Um, I'll actually keep pretty much all of this on me. I'm actually, yeah, decently happy with that. Let's grab some shotguns. Now, full disclosure, for this video, the devs did help me by sending me some shotguns. So they sent me, I believe it was 10 shotguns to help with the video, which are in my inbox there. There you go, 10 shotguns. And, ooh, hang on, let me chuck some stuff into my chopper. Ooh, hmm. We'll mod the weapons first. Might as well get them fully modded. Right, so the shotgun. Our shotgun is going to go from looking like this, just your bog standard basic shotgun, to this, which is a bit of a step up. So for those wondering, the mods we're going for is... Hang on, can I... Let me... This is a pain. Let's go for this one. So we are going for the big ammo. We're going for the long barrel, which has got the spread shot for it. I would do the silencer, however, Spreadshot is by far the best mod you can have on this gun. We're going for the tactical handguard, and for the scope we are going for whatever that one is called. So it does make it weigh a bit more, however, from what I can tell, there are absolutely no negative stats apart from the weight. Yeah, so this modification is set for the shotgun. No negatives at all. So there we go, like that massive boosts to absolutely everything on it apart from I'd say probably the crit damage which gets boosted a little bit but our crit chance is going from zero up to probably about 60 or 70 percent now there are probably possibly one or two better modification setups for this however this is what I have found to be the most effective it would be nice if the scope on the top looked a little bit different but oh well that's what we've got uh, hang on, let's get this one. Now, I'm thinking we are probably going to take out a mercenary with us. One moment. Just need to make a little bit of storage Oh. A little bit of storage space. How well did that work out? Let's do that. Okay, so we are also going to be heading over to the police department to open up a couple of boxes. Which I semi-spoke about in the last video, but we are going to be opening... Five of the purple inspector card boxes. Now, I've done just way too much grinding. I've actually got enough to get one more still, but I'm not going to go for it. I'm going to save them for when we get the tasks for the blue t blue ticket boxes. But yeah, we're going to hire ourselves a mercenary, head over to the PD, open up five of the inspector boxes, and then make our way over to somewhere. I'm sure we'll decide where we'd like to test our shotgun. I actually kind of want to test... Ooh, we have a raid there. I mm, might do the raid in the next video with the fully modded M16, because we do have a silencer for that. So it might be worth doing. Right, I wonder what mercenaries we'll be getting with us today. Ugh, I love the mercenary music. He's the one that plays the best music. What have you got in there for me? Uh, nothing that amazing. What do we want? What's your... Won't go to the police station. I don't want that. Can cut wood. Naked to the waist. Don't want any of them. Very dangerous. Barehanded. Keeps eating even when he's full. But he has got higher health. Let's go for Chester. Hello, Chester. I'm going to get you wearing a little bit better gear. I'm going to keep the nicest stuff for me. Hope you don't mind. There you go. And you can have some med kits as well. 
Right then, over to the police department, we're going to open up these five inspector cards and see if we can actually get some active mods. Because I've had a lot of people ask me what the chances are of getting the active mods. I honestly don't know. There's, what, I think 30 extremely rare mods in the game and 10 or 15 of them are the active mods. So that's what, one in three? Something like that? I'm sure somebody out there knows the exact numbers and will correct me in the comments below. If not, it's not the end of the world. I just want to see what we get because these purple ones are currently, for me, the best ones to be opening because I like to just go in and get a lot of loot and each purple one gives you a full set of SWAT gear, which is what I'm looking forward to. Now, hopefully I remembered not to open up. Hey, didn't open up any of them. Perfect. Right then. Five inspector police cards. Boom. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Are right, you? Run over there. Thank you. No, don't want to look at that. There we go. So, large magazine mod for the AK. For the AK, the only modification I do not bother with is a magazine mod. Because, from what I can tell, none of them are really worth it. So, there was a large magazine. Tactical handguard for the Winchester. It's not looking good so far, is it? A tactical upgrade for the Mini Uzi. That is actually a really good one. I would definitely recommend making that if you get it. Another tactical handguard for the Winchester. And last chance. What are we getting? There we go. Our only active mod. The sniper shot for the M16. What have we also gotten? Yeah, full sets of SWAT as well as... Two M16s, two Glocks... Can you get out of the way, please? Four Glocks. Ooh, what mods has that got it? Cytex Swart and the Reinforced Stock. That's pretty nice. Extended Magazine and Long Barrel. And that has got the Long Silencer and the Bead. Okay. So yeah, definitely not worth all the guns it takes to get them. However, that being said, the factory parts are always nice. And if this is your only way to get the purple mods because you can't buy the weapons in the game, um, not the weapons, because you cannot, like, don't have the option to purchase the Fire Rare Blueprints. It's definitely worth it. Right then. Hmm. Where should we test him? At the bunker or in the PD? I don't see any harm in getting more police department tickets, but I have been doing the PD for every single... Hmm, that is a good point. I've been doing the police department for every single one of these. It would be weird to change it up now mid-series. So, hello all of you. There we go. Um, there we go. Let's aggro this guy as well. So, base damage of 23 to one of those guys. And, oh, I need an electric... Oh, I didn't realise I had that reset. Oh, I'm... I'm a little bit of a muppet, aren't I? I don't think I have any electronic circuits. Alright then, I guess we'll be testing this in the bunker. Okay. The code for today is 9857... Five. There we go. Have I got any red or yellow tickets sitting around here so I can open up some boxes straight away? I'm not sure if I do. I'm pretty sure I put them all back in the box in my base. Yeah, I did. Okay, well, it's not the end of the world. I'm thinking... I'm thinking we do hard mode. There's no point wasting all our guns on the normal mode, zombies. If we're going to be blasting away through a load of guns, might as well have a use... We just one shot that fast biter. How close are we to a floppy? Not that close. Okay. There we go. Activate bunker security protocol. Right then. Now, it's not going to have any effect on this. Oh, we smell, so that's going to. Is that our base damage with this shotgun 80? That is. Ridic our base damage, the damage we're just doing with every shot is 80. I was expecting it to be 60. That's ridiculous. This is going to be fun. So, of course, the hard mode zombies do have armor, so they are going to be taking less damage, but 80 is a ridiculous starting point. Let's eat up that. There we go. Now, if I pee, then my game will crash, so I need to be careful of that. 
and we will spread shot them because the best thing about a fully modded M16 is without a doubt M16, fully modded shotgun, is the spread shot. Honestly, I think the spread shot is the best weapon mod that's available in the game, including literally everything, and it makes the shotgun, in my opinion at least, the best weapon in the entire game. Because if you time it right, you can group all your enemies together. One shotgun could, in theory, take out an entire bunker floor if you're patient enough. Which might be something worth testing in a future video, when I haven't got a mercenary here with me. Right, could I get reach on you from there? Yes! Look at that. They talk of a city full of zombies, but if you ask me, I don't believe it. Oh, that's a turret shooting me. Okay, you need to be careful, because those parasites will one-shot you, mister. So, be careful of that, please, Chester. Okay. Can I reach you? No, we can't reach that one. Alright, then. Wait, look at that. One shot. It's just so good. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I thought that was the parasites there. Now... Is it going to be worth it trying to take on the frenzy charts? I'm not sure because I think Chester might turn out to be a bit of a liability. There we go. Oh, these are so nice. Okay, well, I guess we're taking on them. Ah, and he got taken down. Knew that was going to happen. Out. Oh, those big hits on him are amazing. Why does he turn red? Adrenaline required. Oh, I left it in the chopper. Um, Chester, I'm sorry. Right, I'm going to have to close the game. I'll be back in a second, Chester. Hopefully Chester, yep, yeah, Chester's still here. Let me get the adrenaline. Come on, Chester. I'm not leaving you like this. Okay, we got him. Chester's still with us. Right then, back into the bunker. So what I had to do, I closed the game and I ran to the airdrop that was next to us and back so that he wouldn't be on the third floor of the bunker anymore. Okay, we've got one frenzied giant coming towards us, the annoying one that's standing there and aggros you as soon as you come out into the floor. But uh, well, we should be able to deal with him no problem. Provided Chester remembers to heal. Or Chester instead can just get one shot by him. What are you doing, Chester? You have got meds, haven't you? Yes, you do. Oh, you haven't got good enough armor. That's why he's taking you out in one hit. There you go, Chester. Now, can you... Thank you. I hate it when they just stand there and block the doorway. Right then, we've got... You know what? Now that we've got Chester in some decent armor, I might actually... Well, you know what? Let's try this again. We tried it before. What we're going to have to do... I was told in the comments you can take him in there with you. Right. Just need to get him to follow you. Now, is he in here with us? No, he didn't make it in again! Ah, oh, that's annoying. Oh, well, we can test our fully modded shotgun versus the blind one. Ah, oh, that's annoying. We got him so close to being in this time. So I'm going to say shotgun is probably no longer the best weapon for taking out the blind one with the massive speed nerf. However, it's still good for it. So this is probably going to take, what, I think four or five waves? Okay, he's going to heal. There you go. And then he's going to heal again at 400. So, yeah, we'll be able to do one more wave of him attacking like this, and then we'll take him over to the other door where Chester's hanging out. It's good to see they've finally fixed the glitch. Hey, we got a 52 hit there. Fixed the glitch of the blind one coming through the doors at us. That one was annoying. Right. That was close. Well, not really that close. We had a lot of time there. When the blind one was first added, it took me absolutely ages to kill him. 
Uh, didn't mean to waste a shot there. And he healed quite a bit too. Ooh, hang on. We got him in! Oh, we got him in. Right, come on, Jester, we got this. We did it! Now, unfortunately, he is going to keep shooting. Uh, so, yeah, he he doesn't know the mechanics of how to fight the blind one. But there we go. We got Chester, the mercenary, against the blind one there. Uh, I used to have a dog. Damn, can't even remember its name. Ah, oh, that's a little bit sad. You'd think you should at least be able to remember your own dog's name. Right, like my first ever dog in the game was called Bear. I remember that. There we go. Didn't take Chester out there. And let's might as well actually try looting these. Oh, we've got a locked box around the corner from us as well. I wonder if we're going to be getting anything nice in that. I'm not going to bother looting them. I take it back. A couple of chevrons. A dog tag from an exploder. That feels like I've been cheated. Ah, okay. We've still got that frenzy there. So overall, everybody, what is your opinion of the fully modded shotgun and just the fully modded se gun series as a whole? Are you finding it helpful? Is it helping you decide what weapons to try and focus on modding or what specific mods to go for? Because, honestly, I just think it's nice to show off all the different ones that we've got. Especially with, in the case of the Winchester, I fully modded that so that you lot do not have to. I had a treehouse when I was a kid. Lots of you mercenaries had treehouses as kids, didn't you? There we go, and I'll let you take them out. Perfect. Ooh, they, they dropped something for me. Ooh, a notebook. Notebook from a spitter. That's quite, know, quite good. I know you get that occasionally. Oh, we're stuck in the doorway. Ooh, that, that would have been very, very bad. Oh, dear. Uh, um, Chester, you can be... No, you're dead, Chester. Oh, you need to heal up in advance, Chester. There we go. Nice. All right, Chester, this is the last time you're getting revived. Don't screw up again, please. It's annoying. When they get revived, it brings them up to 100, not their max health. What you got for me? There you got a chevron. See, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get a floppy disk from this one, sadly. Come on, Chester. What are you doing, man? There we go. <sighs> so disappointing. Yeah, if I was doing this without the mercenary, what I'd do is leave all of the frenzy giants until the end. Yeah, I'd leave all the frenzy giants till the end. And then you come back with a grenade launcher, get them all stuck behind a wall, run away a little bit, and blast them all into oblivion. Which is honestly one of the most fun things to do and without fail every single time I've done it I level up and we are currently sitting on what level are we in? oh we set off the alarm I am currently level 196 Chester are oh, you idiot Chester get up thank you oh just has lost his gun. Oh dear. There you go. Poor Chester. <laughs> Let me get you a second one as well. There you go. Oh, and you're running low on meds. Enjoy them. Oh, I think that is the easiest I've ever had that room go. I also think that's the most hard mode items I've ever gotten from that room. A full three. Yeah, that room is really not worth it, people. Alright, stop! That beeping's annoying! Please! Okay, good. It does get quiet as you run away. I barely ever do the bunker with sound on. For those wondering why I didn't know that. There we go. And then, just one shot on him. There we go. I've generally found the Glock is the best thing to kill the Exploders with. Because it's got that perfect pace of fire. To just kill them when they start exploding and you don't waste shots on it as well by continuously shooting okay we got one more frenzy giant Chester I know you're a hungry boy what why can't I force Chester to eat it 
You expend food unnecessarily. Eat the carrot soup. Well, you're probably going to die here, aren't you? Let me open the door. The worst is when your close friends become zombies. Rip Chester! Help me before it's too late. I haven't got any more adrenaline. If you'd just eaten that carrot soup like a good boy, then I would have been able to help you. Sorry. Adrenaline required. No can do. Sorry, Chester, but you're dead. Should have just eaten the soup. You said you eat lots of food. Oh well, so rip Chester basically. Let's get this one. There we go, look at that. That was nice. And we got. Oh, yeah, of course so. There's 42 points of damage per. Alright, yep, Chester, I get it, you're dying. You can stop screaming for help. I'm just gonna let you die. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. We've got both of them aggroed on us because we're smelly. People keep raging at me, telling me to take a shower at the start of videos so I don't smell. I ignore them every time. Yeah, we're gonna be fine actually. There we go. Absolutely destroyed him. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to... My voice and brain completely died there. I'm going to go and give the items to the specialist, see what he's happy with. I think that will bring us at least two-thirds of the way to a floppy disk, which is nothing bad, considering we used, what, five shotguns? Something like that. Right then, you can have some of those. You can have some of those. Oh, more than two-thirds. Are we going to get one? Oh, we're so close. Alright, we're going back to the third floor. Got to get that floppy disk. We can't leave it sitting right there. Grouping all the spitters together. And there we go. So now, some of them actually got down to 37 health here. This is what I mean by... Oh, oh I didn't need to kill anything else. I did leave bags of zombie bits on the floor. Oh, well. Right, come on. You could all group up a little bit for me. Let's do it here, I think. And there we go. So yeah, you would then just do that exact same thing again. But yeah, doing that, you can kill every single zombie on this floor using just one shotgun. You just have to be careful not to get dead when they're smacking you at once. But it can be done. And I'm actually going to give that a go at some point. Can't do it today, obviously, because I've already cleared out this floor. Could do it on second floor, but second floor is not as good, I think. Right then. What am I... Yeah, I'm just going to go change him in for the floppy. Hello, Mr. Specialist. I've got a few items for you. Hey, we got a floppy disk. There we go. You can have them, and you can have them as well. Perfect. Right, floppy with coordinates. There you go. Everybody that's still watching the video at this point, come and join my Discord. There's a link just in the comments, not in the comments, in the pinned messages just below. Right, we are at the floppy disk. We've got a girl puppy. We actually got a girl for once. Nice. Keep getting male puppies. There we go. Oh, that's so nice. Right then, what are we going to be getting for the floppy disk? Another grenade launcher. Or, ooh, a VSS would be good. Oh wow, we got three guns from this one. I'm being spoiled. Oh, that's the military motorcycle. Darn. It's the off-road bike I'm wanting at the moment. We got a grenade launcher, we got a scar, we got an AK. Honestly, I think those are the best three guns I've gotten from a floppy disk in a long time. And some more adrenaline. If only I had you earlier, hey? Ooh, a lens. I need that before I can do my fully modded M16 video. Because I'm missing a few lenses to make the X8 scope. Right, and might as well grab that. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Okie dokie. Right, everybody, I think I'm going to end off the video here. Apologies if this was a bit of a shorter, fully modded one than normal. But, as you can see, the shotgun is absolutely overpowered. I love it as a weapon when it's fully modded. And if you take this into the police department, which is obviously something I couldn't do, sadly, it rinses through the waves. You just have to be patient. And if you've got the spread shot, you're acing it. You can just use spread shot after spread shot after spread shot on the waves. Right, thank you for watching, people. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll be seeing, all, seeing you all next time with the fully modded Glock. Bye. Oh, and if you're not subbed already, please do.